I'm a servant of our Lord Jesus and a minister to the peoples of the street. I'm a servant of our Lord Jesus and a minister to the peoples of the street. My name is Sherwood Fleming. I'm from a little place called Lula, Mississippi. And I just, I'm so thankful to God for everything. But on April 29th, 1992, it was the verdict of Rodney King. And I was so frustrated. I didn't know what to do. And I felt like it was just going another, going to be another unjust verdict. And so God gave me these words. I know he did. And it was, I, I couldn't think of nothing else but history. Because it was things that I had heard of and some of them I had saw. Thank you very much. The story I'm about to tell you is true. It happened to me and it can happen to you. On May the 6th of 94, five white racist lying cop decided that they would put on a show. I wasn't doing anything that they could plainly see. Not only did they beat me, but they pepper sprayed me. Two years later, we took the case to court to find the judge and the jury was of no support. My lawyer stepped up to the podium stating the facts in my case. Then the judge yelled out, this case is not about race. Even the picking of the jury, one black out of eight, the defense attorney made sure he didn't stay. When the verdict came back ruling for those lying cops, can't you see the madness haven't really stopped? Yes, hearing the reading of the verdict was hard to absorb, but let me tell you that my lawyer really did his job. Was I disappointed or was I leery? I know that I couldn't trust an all-white jury, and after reading of the unjust verdict was in, some of the jurors came over to try to shake my hand. But after 500 years of racial injustice, how could just a handshake heal and correct it? When something negative in the news about Hispanics and black, they show pictures and description of what we look like. But when it comes to whites, no matter how gruesome it is or how bad it sounds, the media will always find some kind of way to tone it down. Take a look at the situation that our world is in today. We need to stop. Take a good look. Go home another way. Confusion's in the White House. Crime's all in the street. So many hungry, homeless peoples out there, no place, no food to eat. We got to come together. We got to do it today. We got to come together. People, that's the only way. So take a look at the situation that our world is in today. We need to stop fussing and cussing, killing among ourselves. If we expect to get respect, we got to respect ourselves. So take a look at the situation that our world is in today. We need to stop and take a good look and go home another way. We need to stop fussing and cussing, killing among ourselves. If we expect to get respect, we got to respect ourselves. The confusion in the White House, crimes all in the street. So many hungry homeless peoples out there, no place, no food to eat. We got to come together. We got to do it today. We got to come together. People, that's the only way. So take a look at the situation that our world is in today. I'm not trying to be tough, really I'm not mean, but sometimes I do get upset when I look at the racial scene. Take a look at the situation that our world is in today. We need to stop, take a good look, go home another way. Confusion in the White House, crimes all in the street. So many hungry homeless peoples out there, no place, no food to eat. We got to come together. We got to do it today. We got to come together. People, that's the only way. So take a look at the situation that our world is in today. We need to stop, take a good look, and go home another way. Seem like I can still hear the angry voices of the black and the brown, the young and the old from the cities and streets of the ghettos, crying out, speaking out against racial injustice, prejudice, police brutality, disappointment, hurt and neglect, misuse and abuse of our black and brown peoples. Young peoples, listen, this is part of our history. To you, our young peoples and old alike, 
What I'm about to tell you is a natural fact. I want to give you a little history about our past. We still can't say that we're free at last. It's an old true story about slavery and black. You see, it's painful to talk about, but that's what it was like. We was raped, hanged, mobbed. We was killed by gang. Nobody would try to help us or do anything. Now, that is only a fraction of what have happened to us. This scene began with Rosa Parks at the back of the bus. The year was 1955. Rosa Parks refused to stand because her feet were tied. She refused to stand up and let the whites sit down, but most of all, she was tired of being pushed around. This is neither fiction or fairy tale, cause the very same day they hauled Rosa off to jail. When Dr. King got the news, he rushed to the scene. It was the starting and the making of I Have a Dream. Some white think we black should applaud their abuse. Like in the case of Judge Collin and soon y'all do. That's why we are tired, we are tired, we are sick and tired. We are tired of walking now, it's time for us to ride. We tired, we tired, we can't take it no more. It's a mighty long road, we got a long ways to go. We tired, we tired, we thank God for the facts. And what you took from us, now we want it back. Freedom, 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 that was all we ask of you. You could have given it to us if you had wanted to. You brought us over here all bound and chained. You took away our freedom and a lots of other things. There were so many places we couldn't eat or sleep. In every battle that we fought, they all ended in defeat. If there is one thing, I hope that you will understand. There is nobody, but nobody can tell this story like we can. Nobody. Nobody can tell this story like we can. We gotta come together Every, everybody Come together We need to come together Oh, we're God's children we are precious in his sight. He knows, he knows what's right. We gotta come together. Because we need each other We must love one another Because we are sisters and brothers That's why we need to come together Every day we need to come together because God is real. He will keep us from all, from all ills. That's why we got to come together the black and the white the rich and the poor we got to come together Lord knows we got to come together everybody we need God in everything we do. So we got to come together. We got to do it today. We got to come together. We know that's the only way. We got to come together. We know God is real. When we come together, we know how it feels. 
That's why we got to come together. Everybody here. We got to come together. Because we know God is real. That's why we got to come together. Everybody, every day. In a pure and perfect way. We got to come together. We got to do it today. We got to come together. People, let me hear you say, We got to come together. We got to come together. We got to come together. We got to do it today. We got to come together, children, people, that's the only way. We got to come together. We got to do what's right. We know we're God's children and we're precious in His sight. We got to come together. We got to do it today. We got to come together. People, that's the only way.